Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Ranking Member, Member DeBolt, and all of my colleagues on the Capital Budget Committee. Um, this is uh, changing pace a little bit from the bill we heard previous, although not entirely. And uh, I promise it's cheaper, and I'll make no references to what California is doing. Um, uh, Aren't you from California? No, I'm from Aberdeen. <laughs> um, so uh, what we're talking about here is SEPTED, Crime Prevention Through Environmental Design. And it's a, a group of uh, architectural tools, practices, that help make any building, but particularly public buildings, more safe and secure. And uh, it is industry standard. It's one industry standard, but in my opinion, it's the best. And, and, and basically what these design elements do is they make buildings, and we're talking primarily here about school buildings, more secure without turning them into prisons. One of the criticisms you hear a lot about security-focused design is it turns places into prisons. Well, SEPTED implements good security elements without turning the facility into a prison. And, and it does this, as Christine did very well in her summary, by, by really focusing on two important elements. Uh, one is lines of sight. It makes sight lines a, a priority in how the public building is designed. And, and I've seen this going around my district. Uh, when we're building new schools or rehabbing older schools, a lot of times what we're fixing is bad sight lines. The, the office of the school didn't have the ability to look through a window or, or through a hallway to the front entrance of the school. And so SEPTED design theory uh, would prevent that from happening, encourages good, clear lines of sight from administration location offices to, to important points in the building, particularly ingress and egress, entrances and exits. Um, the other thing that it does is it uses you know, landscaping and, and natural elements of the school site to uh, improve uh, security features, to make it a little harder to get in in an odd way, to channel uh, pedestrian traffic to, you know, the observed points of ingress and egress. And, uh, and, and, and that control of ingress and egress, those points of getting in and getting out of the building, are, are also the critical element of SEPTED. It really channels people to, to places that can be, entrances and exits that can be secured and can be observed. These are simple things, but uh, we don't always make them a priority when we're designing our schools. And uh, what, so what the bill does is it takes SEPTED design elements going through OSPI and the SCAP program and uh, basically replaces an existing uh, method for encouraging good design with clearer guidelines for making sure that new designs and, uh, and designs for major rehabs of existing buildings comply with, with SEPTED design elements. So it, uh, it uh, uses some existing mechanisms to put forward to our schools and our school districts uh, what are state of the art and superior design elements. So I, I commend the bill to you and I, uh, and I ask for your support as we move it through the process. Uh, any questions? Any questions of Representative Wall? Oh, Representative Callan, Callan, sorry. Okay. Thank you, Chair. I, so is the assessment of safety and security um, about all safety and security and egress, in, um, or is it also or specifically narrowly defined as environmental design? Well, it's an existing focus. mechanism we use for uh, for for reviewing design plans. So uh, no, I mean, it's not specific to any particular uh, discipline, but it, it looks at the safety and security of a design plan for, for a school. And that's the existing part. Uh, the cost here is currently we're spending approximately a million uh, biennium on these, these reviews, and this would jack it up uh, to about 2.2 million. Representative Levitt, did you? Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'm going to follow along Representative Callan's thought. In, I have three kids still in school, and in each of their schools recently, they've included um, additional safety measures um, to get, I think, to where you're going, um, and that includes um, 
adding additional doors and you have to have a little button that you hit and they look at your face and you kind of go through and so they've been adding those to each of those schools would that with your bill include additional kinds of doors or mechanisms similar to, to what schools are doing right now I uh, perhaps I mean I, I don't know what each school is doing now but but uh, I mean, the SEPTED design elements aren't uh, blueprints. I mean, they're, they're, they're priorities in design of a, of a building. So uh, there's still latitude for a particular school district and a particular building project to be designed to the needs of that space. But, uh, but they are design priorities. So yeah, I think they would incorporate the kinds of things that you're describing. 